loam. Loam is a mixture of sand, silt, and clay. The quality of loam soil depends on the quantity of various types of soil in it. This is why loam soil is always the first choice of a gardener, as it's best for plant growth since it is a mixture of all types of soil and it has humus too. So it holds good amount of moisture and also allows good drainage. The decaying plant and animal matter help give structure to the soil to hold the plant roots in place. Loam also holds just the right amount of water, neither too less nor too much. It lets some water in, which allowing the extra to drain. Ingredients of loam are sand, silt, clay, and humus. Loamy soil is ideal for plant cultivation and is commonly used to grow flowers, fruits, and a variety of vegetables. Loamy soil, in combination with straw, is also used in wall construction and applied on the inner surface of walls to control humidity. Now, let's revise what we have learned about types of soils. We learned about four types of soil, sand, which has biggest rock particles, silt, has particles of rock smaller than those of sand, clay, has smallest rock particles, and loam. It is the mixture of all types of rock particles and humus. Now let's learn what humus is. Humus is dark organic matter in soil, which is made up of dead and decayed plant and animal matter. Like when small insects and animals die in the soil, their bodies turn into humus. Likewise, plant waste like dropped leaves, twigs, fruits, and seeds too form humus. So humus is the remains of living material and becomes a part of the soil, which makes it very fertile as it adds to the amount of nutrients in the soil. So kids, today we learned a lot about different types of soil and their characteristics. Now, now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!